Hey folks, I'm Brendan and you're watching The Overqualified Henchman. So I love Firefly, like a lot, a lot, a lot. It's cowboys in space. It's warrior women and wisecracking pilots and plucky mechanics and it's so good. So when Loot Crate announced they were gonna be doing a Firefly specialty crate, they pretty much had me dead to rights. And so for April, 2016, I give you the first Firefly cargo crate, shiny. Things like this are why I can't afford new parts for my ship. Before we get into the cargo crate, how about a quick Loot Crate recap? Besides their main subscription, Loot Crate has added a bunch of new options lately. In the past, they've done big one-off specialty crates for properties like Call of Duty, Star Wars, and Mass Effect. They've also split off some of the content that would have previously been in their main crate and created separate subscriptions for pets, gaming, and anime. Even more recently, they've introduced Loot Crate DX, a deluxe option that costs about three times as much as the regular Loot Crate, but consequently includes some much nicer, pricier items. The Firefly Cargo Crate is interesting because it kind of lives in the middle of the Venn diagram between all of those. Like the one-off specialty crates, it's all items from one franchise. It's also pricier than the regular Loot Crate, but not nearly so much as the DX. The Cargo Crate also arrives bi-monthly, so you're looking at six per year as opposed to 12. That helps spread the cost out a little bit, and it's nice to have a better idea of what you're getting, but make no mistake, this is still a pretty big chunk of change. Fortunately for Loot Crate, Firefly fans aren't exactly known for... Uh, moderation. Each cargo crate is themed around a particular crew member, and April's shiny crate is all about Miss Kaylee Fry. The zine is similar to what you get in a regular Loot Crate, but it's presented a little bit more like a traditional fan zine. There's an interview with Jewel State, some cosplay talk, and the obligatory treat Mandarin like it's Klingon or Elvish pronunciation gag. The cargo crate is produced in partnership with Quantum Mechanics, who, not incidentally, have the license for Firefly merchandise. Which brings us to what you could argue is the headliner of the crate, the Kaylee Little Damn Heroes Mini Master Maquette. Say that three times fast. Mini Master Maquette, Mini Master Maquette, Mini Maquette. This can cause a little confusion if you're searching online because Quantum Mechanics has used the Little Damn Hero's name for a previous series. They also have a 1-6 scale Master series, and this maquette seems to be referencing both. The maquette's about 5 inches tall, it's removable from the base, and features the parasol from the pilot episode. I think the sculpt pulls off the slightly cartoony style, and while the closed eye expression would bug me in an action figure, in a statue it gives it a lot of personality. I called the Mini Master the headliner because it was actually revealed at the same time the Cargo Crate subscription was announced. Announced. Each future crate is planned to include another character so you can eventually build the whole crew. That's a great hook, but it means that if you're only hearing about the subscription now, you've already missed out on one crew member and that's only going to become more of a problem as time goes by. Theoretically everything in these crates is exclusive, but we'll have to see if the maquettes end up being available somewhere else afterward. Speaking of the parasol, we also get a pack of five drink umbrellas featuring the same design. Sure, this is a novelty more than anything, but I'm seeing action figure accessories. There's sort of a Persephone sub-theme in the crates since that's the planet where we see that parasol. In that spirit, we've got an exported from Persephone luggage sticker. If we end up getting more of these from different planets, you could really deck out a suitcase. Next up, you get one of two Qubit mystery minifigures. Although the packaging shows figures for the entire crew, in the crate, you got either Jane or Simon. I don't know, maybe they had some overstock of Jane and Simon they had to get rid of. Obviously, this is a much cartoonier style than the Mini Master. Maybe too cartoony? Besides the outfit, there's not a lot to say that this is Jane. After that, we've got two exclusive cards for the Persephone deck in the Firefly board game. I don't actually have the board game itself or any of its apparently many expansions, but the idea of exclusive cards to add to the game is really neat. We've got a Fruity Odie Bar card, which apparently is a hundred space bucks, and a Loot Crate Silver Hold card for 300 space bucks. Remove from play to use. Draw a card from the Silver Hold supply deck. If it is a gear card, keep it. If not, discard it and draw another card. Repeat until a gear card is drawn. Is that good? Do you want gear cards? You, you probably want gear cards, right? That seems good. I've said before how much I like it when Loot Crate includes mini prints, and I also really like concept artwork. Well, bada boom, concept artwork of the Reaver ship and its capture claw. It's always really neat to see this in-process style of work, and there's lots of notes explaining the thinking behind it. It wouldn't be Loot Crate without a pin, and in this case, I got two. The pin for the crate itself proclaims that everything's shiny, Captain, and features that distinctive parasol design again. Meanwhile, since this is the first crate in the subscription, it also came with this founder's pin, featuring Serenity herself. Okay, you caught me. I saved the best thing for last. Meet 
Kaylee Bear. Oh my gosh, you guys, he's so cute. That is to say, the teddy bear is very well made, very soft, very squishable. The overalls are actually really clever because on the show, Kaylee has a patch in the shape of a teddy bear on her left leg, and the bear has a Kaylee-shaped patch in the same place. The Kaylee bear would be great for putting on a shelf, or maybe with some cushions on a couch, or maybe just snuggling and telling all your hopes and dreams. She's unbearably adorable and positively the highlight of the crate for me. There's basically nothing in the cargo crate I didn't like, so that's a recommendation for any fan of the show. If you're not a fan of the show, then yeah, this probably isn't for you. The Firefly Cargo Crate will be back in June with the Bad Guys Crate featuring Jane, the man they call Jane. So if you're interested, you can follow the link below to head over to the Loot Crate site. While you're clicking around anyway, you could also remember to like, subscribe, and share. Until next time, keep on flying and keep on henching. My hat is the most authentic because my mother made it. Jealousy is both understandable and appropriate.